Hey, what's up? It's Mike L. Metal, and this is the Space Shuttle Enterprise. This is going to be the first space shuttle that I launch into orbit, and it's got the first part of the space station in its payload bay. And I'm going to send the Kerbals over here. Detach the clamps and start the engines. Throttle up a little bit. And once the engines start, I'll throttle up all the way and release. And I'm on my way to orbit. I'm pretty proud of this space shuttle. This is the first space shuttle I've actually had work all the way to orbit and return and land safely. Well, almost. You'll see. Separate the SRBs and hope that they don't smack into the wings and break them off. And once they get up to altitude, about like 25, I'm going to burn slightly below the horizon so the engines are even with the horizon. Turn it sideways so you can see in a second. There you go. I'm going to raise the apoapsis a little bit. Raise it just a little bit more so it's about uh, 125. I'm spin around and release the tank. And then I'm going to use the RCS to thrust away from it. And once I get to the apoapsis, I'm going to do the first of three Ohms burns. In orbit. Now I just gotta go to the next part of, or the next apoapsis. Next time I hit apoapsis, I'm going to circularize once more. And I'm gonna do it one more time just so I can get it as circular as possible. go. Take a couple screenshots and set it up north and south. Open the payload bay. And once I get it set up, I'm going to open the bottom docking node so that it's exposed. And then I'm going to detach and use the RCS to get it clear of the bay. Take a couple more screenshots. And I'm going to use the RCS to thrust up and over the top of it so I can attach the docking node that's in the cargo bay to the top of the station. And using the uh, alignment indicator, it's so much easier than just eyeballing it. it. It really does take all the guesswork out of it. Here we go. Get it attached. And once I do that, I'm going to send Jeb over so that he can turn the power on and extend the panels and do all that stuff. go and there's a nice view from inside looking down at the surface of carbon I'm gonna take a couple screenshots of this and once I'm done looking around I'm going to send Jeb back to the cockpit of the space shuttle and once I do that I'm gonna use the free time to do a couple of science experiments because I unlocked a few new ones that I haven't done in Kerbin Orbit yet. And once I'm done with those, I'm going to send Jeb over to collect the science. 
because if something goes wrong on landing, I don't want to lose the science points. Because I want to actually collect the, uh, the science from it. It's a pretty decent amount. I think it was like 100 science or something like that. Could be wrong. do an EVA report once it gets over the ocean and send it back to the cockpit to store all the science. Now I'm going to detach and use the RCS to thrust away from it. Careful not to hit the station with the jets from the RCS. And once I get to a safe distance thrust away a little bit more here. And once I get to a safe distance I'm going to thrust retrograde and get away from the station a little bit. Thrust away a little bit more. Ignore that yellow, uh, yellow arrow. I have no idea where that came from. And once it gets out of render distance, I'm going to set up a maneuver node over the desert over here to get set up for re-entry. That's the trajectories mod telling me where I'm going to end up in the atmosphere. Give me landing predictions. And I'm going to time warp over and burn to set up for landing. Close the cargo bay. Flip around. And I kind of overshoot a little bit, so I gotta flip around and come back towards the runway. Which I'm pretty much sure is gonna be my new uh, standard method of landing, but um, I'm gonna try and set it up so that I can do a straight in landing at least once. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use the Ohms engines to stay flying. And once I get in, pretty much over to land. I'm going to drop the gear. And touchdown goes wrong and I immediately skid off the runway. But I flip over and land it. And he sticks to landing. <laughs> oh man. So this is the second shuttle after it was repaired. This is also the shuttle Enterprise. And I'm going to be sending four Kerbals up into orbit. Two of them will be re remaining up there. And this shuttle has the second part of the station, which is the science lab. There we go. Get all them in there. Attach the clamps. And here we go. I'm gonna burn slightly at an angle so that it doesn't burn straight forwards, as it because it tends to do that right after launching. Burn forwards as opposed to straight up, so you just gotta pull back a little bit, and compensate. I'm also gonna tweak the engines a bit. You can use the action groups to change their pitch so they burn through the center of mass. It goes SRB sub. Now I'm gonna pitch over and burn along the equator so I can kinda of circularize my orbit on the initial launch burn. And I'm also going to be burning higher than the space station. I'm going to be burning up to uh, 150 kilometer orbit so that the station can catch up to us. Which means the astro or the Kerbonauts, sorry, are going to be spending a full day in orbit. Goes main engine cut out. I'm going to turn this around and release the tank. I still have to tweak the amount of parachutes on the tank because it's not being fully recovered when it goes back into the atmosphere. And here it is coming in close to the station. I just cut out a couple of the ohms maneuvers. At this point they've been in orbit for a full day and they're eagerly awaiting the arrival to the station. 
And we get nice and close and use the RCS to zero out the velocity. And what I'm going to do now is get ready to deploy this, but a few things go wrong with Kerbal Joint Reinforcement and it starts making things explode. So here's my little adventure with the <laughs> explosions from hell. Did anyone else notice that it kind of did the shave and a haircut two bits thing right there? Just... <laughs> oh man. This is kind of. And this is from the I Am Destructor clip. <laughs> just anything he touches just blows up. But I did eventually. Uh, I did eventually remove Kerbal Joint Reinforcement and it did help. I actually was able to deploy this which is the science lab and I was able to finally dock with it just get this nice and centered and I have a problem doing that I kinda of miss a couple of times I'm eyeballing it because I wasn't controlling it from the, the docking port, I was controlling it from the cockpit. Now I'm controlling it from the docking port. Bring it in nice and slow. Try not to smack into it. And once it gets close, the magnetic force pulls them together. And we're docked. Now all I gotta do is set this up to dock to the bottom of that station. So I'm going to use the RCS and time warp to get over there nice and quick. I time warp again, but I kind of overshoot it. And i got to come back a little bit. center this, there we go, and I'm gonna bring it in nice and slow and try and keep it centered and I'm docked there we go now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the Kerbals over so they can get everything set up and they can start having their little space poker party <coughs> go hang out over there for a little bit and once they're done with that I'm gonna send Jeb and Bill back to the space shuttle detach this and use the RCS to get away And use the RCS to burn retrograde and get away from the station a little bit. I'm going to cut out some of the other stuff. And I'm going to get set up for landing. But as you can tell, I kind of overshoot it once again. But that's okay because I can, it's a glider. I can turn around and still make it back to the runway. And I still got plenty of fuel left use the ohms engines if I really needed to and if I really wanted to I could land on the island runway that's off to the right right there but once I drop below like 400 meters per second like three or four hundred I can actually start maneuvering head this way and then I'm going to turn around get straightened out and lined up with the runway and to be honest I could probably make it back just on gliding power but I kind of use the ohms engines just to be safe <coughs> drop the gear let's 
start the flare and touchdown. I'm going to deploy the air brakes and hold the brakes and I made it. Awesome. And this is going to be the last launch for the video. This is the final part of the station that I'm going to be putting up, putting up in this one. This has got the arms that are going to be the docking nodes for the two shuttles that can be out there at the same time. I might add extra arms at some point, but for right now I think two shuttles is more than enough. And I'm going to cut out most of the stuff that you've already seen a hundred times before. Just bring it in right before I attach to the station. Just bring this in nice and slow. Try not to smack it. There we go. And straighten this out so it's north and south. I'm going to rename it Carbon Station for now. If you think you have a better name for it, leave it in the comments. And I'll probably use it if I like it. I'm going to detach this from the station and return it. And I'm going to use stage recovery to recover it so I don't have to actually manually track it back into the atmosphere and stuff. And that's going to be it for this one. So if you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe so you can get more. And I will see you next time. Yeah, I thought.